Tulu, and today I'm taking you on a journey into the life of our mangroves. Out of the 3,000 hectares of mangrove forest existing in the UAE, 75% are located in Abu Dhabi. The mangroves of Abu Dhabi have existed here for around four decades, and they are not only the home for many different species, but also our natural protection against what the sea might cause us, tides, waves, and tsunamis. Well, here I am surrounded by the great mangroves of Abu Dhabi, so happy to be with Suad, who's going to take me on a journey to explore more about the mangroves. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Mangroves are actually very important um, for the coastal ecosystems. This is the area where a lot of um, fish actually begin their lives. So it's a nursery area for um, small fish in the beginning of their life cycle. It's also an important stopover ground for a variety of um, birds as well. Uh, we haven't seen any flamingos yet, but typically you do find flamingos in this area. You find egrets and herons. Wow. So it really is a home for um, a variety of different birds. Mangroves are very different from um, other trees because, uh, first of all, they're actually growing in salt water. Wow. So mangroves all over the world grow in areas where you have salt water or brackish water, which brackish means it's in between fresh mm. and salt water. Mm. And uh, their root system is very different, as you can see, it grows upwards. It's fascinating. Okay, well, we're getting so close. It's beautiful getting as close to the mangroves. So these are the, the what do you call them, the flowers? Yeah. All right, we, we're almost, see, this is how you get close and you can kiss the mangrove. <laughs> There's a lot of crabs here, eh? There's a lot of crabs here, yeah. So as you can see, that uh, mangroves are home for different invertebrates as well. It's really fascinating. So what, are, what kind of other animals can we see um, around the mangroves? The mangrove area is also important for the red fox, which wow. some people would be surprised that we have fox here, very close to the city. But uh, in some of the sandy patches, uh, in between the mangroves, you do tend to find the dens of the red fox. <laughs> What about us humans? How important it is to have mangroves? Mangroves actually play an important role as natural filters. So um, it, it's important in terms of uh, recreational water quality. If we want to uh, swim in these areas, uh, the mangroves actually provide a natural way of cleaning. Uh, the other thing is that mangroves act as a natural buffer for um, storms and tsunamis and mm -hmm. things like that. So it protects our coastal areas. It acts as a natural defense. Actually, this area um, was planted probably around 30 years ago. Okay. So it takes around 30 years for it to come up to this height. Wow. So that, I would say maybe three meters max. It took them 30 years, a meter every 10 years. And it only takes an instant to destroy it. Our country has grown rapidly since its birth around 40 years ago. In order to continue growing, we need to make sure we develop without making too much damage to our nature. Because unfortunately, the biggest threat to the mangroves in the UAE today, it is us, humans. Yeah, if you take a look, some of these mangroves here um, have lost their leaves and are probably dead. Uh, the reason for this is because this area was recently dredged, and so uh, this is not what a natural mangrove should look like. So uh, when they dredged the area, this caused a change in the flow of water, and mangroves depend on uh, tidal flow in and out, so they need to have this uh, continuous movement of water. So that balance has been changed, and that's the reason why we have some dead mangroves here. It's really sad in a way. 
Yeah, it breaks our heart yeah. to see this. You can tell some of these mangroves are unstable, which is why some of them tend to collapse inwards. This is also a result of the dredging. In February 2011, the Environment Agency Abu Dhabi successfully planted 800,000 mangroves on the coasts of Sadiat and Jubail Islands in collaboration with the Tourism Development and Investment Company. The project was launched with the aim of alleviating the effects of property development on the island's coastal habitats. By conserving mangroves, we can preserve a balanced ecosystem and a species which plays an integral role in our natural heritage. Mangroves are not just beautiful trees. They are a big part of our ecosystem that is protecting us and our wildlife. Taking care of them means taking care of ourselves and our future. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next episode of The Environment Show. Salam.